I think that uh, China's artificial intelligence uh, actually is a uh, in a very good uh, situation internationally, and the main strength is in applications, and especially with uh, technologies that are relatively mature. That's uh, really evident. Uh, for example, in uh, terms of automatic payments, uh, we are really leading the world. However, I, I would say that fundamental research uh, in AI is uh, still the major weak points in China's uh, AI situation. Large language models is definitely the buzzword right now. Uh, but from your perspective, what's next after it? The fusion of the uh, two really huge areas, uh, namely uh, uh, artificial intelligence and uh, the other one is robotic. I think these are the uh, point of excitement. So I think that embodied AGI is a, uh, in a way, you can regard it as the next step of the large uh, language model we have achieved. And lately we've seen that the U.S. government reportedly considering further restrictions on China's access to U.S. semiconductors and cloud computing services. So what are the potential implications? Will that hinder China's AI development? I think that over the long run, um, uh, firstly, uh, people could regard this as an opportunity to develop better algorithms, better AI uh, learning methods so that it, will, it can achieve the same result without needing so much computing power. Uh, that's, entirely, it, that's entirely possible, and I think that it's even uh, probable that it will happen in the long run. And also, I don't think that the restriction on the semiconductor uh, chip development uh, in, the, in the long run could seriously stymie the uh, advancement of computing hardware in China. Uh, in the last few years, I have seen a lot of young top talents coming back to China or produced uh, locally. China has already talents and knowledge definitely can catch up with the most advanced level internationally uh, in, in, in the not too distant future.